you still heal the sick. You still raise the dead. You still do amazing things. Now you're away. Now you're away. You still hear our prayers. You still answer when we call. Yeah. You always keep your promise. Now you're away. said about God he was running from Saul, from, from Saul that's when David ran from his own son my wife was dying in August we lost our baby it was still birth it was six months and six and a half months I think six months and three weeks so we lost the baby as, as soon as, go ahead, just keep playing. So as I got to the hospital and I saw the doctor scanning, I knew the baby was gone. So I just moved my attention immediately. They said, pray. When doctor tell you, make you pray. You no know, say the situation don't cast. So my wife was battling four things that could take her life at the same time. And all my rema disappeared from my mouth. All I could tell God was, have mercy. And you know, the day before they sent this song, that we were done with the mixing and mastering. So this is the song. And I said, okay, song is ready. And then the day after, my wife, I took her to work. She said, oh, she's feeling a bit of pain. Then in the evening, they said, oh, they're rushing her to the hospital. So the, the baby was gone. So what took the baby, that thing that happened, usually kills the mothers along. And we've been battling with her parents not battling like 
but they did not approve, you know, of us. And so I knew if anything happens to this woman, I am finished. Any step I take, they will say, now nah, our daughter will take her home. So I was stuck. This is one of my scars I'm sharing with you. I was stuck there. And I said, what testimony will I give? How will I be able to worship you? And Satan started showing me pictures of how to kill myself if she goes. I was, that was a Thursday, I was dead that Thursday. Friday, I was a dead man walking. And we had times of fellowship. Just keep playing that thing, playing it with confidence. <laughs> so I, 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 I was, all the rema I knew, all the scriptures went. I was just saying, God, have mercy. Have mercy on me. Then on Friday, after my friends prayed with me, we were like 20 in the hospital. People came, Pastor Tony Rappu, T.Y. Bello, people came to visit and just pray. So their prayer gave me strength. People were praying all over. And God was saying, this is what it means to be surrounded by me. Where you have people who are holding on to you in prayer, holding the fort with you. So, Friday I got strength, Friday night. Saturday morning she delivered the child. I went to bury him. And she's back to work now. She's <laughs> from death. I, I just want to summarize it. From death, a testimony came out. I've lost people. I've lost two siblings in one year. I've lost both my parents. I've lost things, you know. But God always shows up. I told him, I said, you said you will not give us what we cannot bear. That is more than what we cannot bear. We can bear, rather. You, can't, you won't give us more than what we can bear. I said, I can't bear this one. I can bear the baby going. I can't bear the woman going. Because too much is at stake. And that Friday when I got strength, I told Satan, I said, once I come out of this, I'm going to be a worship machine. I think I did praise God through trials before, but now, and I'm going to remind the whole world in the midst of what is trending to make you doubt God, in the midst of religion, where you did what the pastor said, but there are no results, and you begin to doubt. That's because that pastor is a human being, but I am God. Holy God. Eternal God, mighty God, unfailing God, from age to age, you're still the same. Faithful God, sufficient God. Just when we fall, <laughs> you still help our weakness. 